going on guys, it's Dreadman and um, yeah, you see the title of the video and you would think that I wouldn't have to talk about this again for you know two simple reasons. One, because it's been talked about so much already and two, because of what year it is, but I want to do an individual video about this. Now, of course, the, what I'm talking about or referring to is the word nigger, nigger, nigger or whatever variation of the word it is. Now, does that word still affect us today and, and, and is it so, is it still, you know, controversial? I say yeah it is because um, all of my black and hell, even my Latino friends, all my, I mean, because me, all my family members and all my black and Latino friends, we use the N-word freely, but um, of course there's the, the couple of questions that come up that, um, well, why is the N-word still so offensive? And um, of course, um, I got a, subscri a new subscriber of mine who asked me, um, what, what do I think about it? How do I feel? And another subscriber named Riley Richards, by the, by the way, thank you. But the main question is why is it okay for um, black people and even Latinos they get the N word passed? Why is it okay for them to use the N word but it's not okay for us? Well, um, I gotta say this just for two simple reasons. One is because, um, ver well, as far as all racial slurs are wrong, whether it be cracker, cracker, spick, shank, slope, um, beaner, wetback, peckerwood, creek water, any other racial slurs you can think of. No other racial slur that you that anybody else can to think of can really come close. Like I'm arguing with a white person, like um, you stupid cracker honky bitch. I had sex with your mother last night. I tell you all that. You and, um, you call me the N word. You win the whole argument because no other really um, racial slur has been around that long. I mean, because the word cracker has been around for about maybe about 300. Not nah, the word cracker has been around for maybe about 50 years tops, and the N word has been around for at least 350 to 400. And, you know, so basically there's, there's no other racial slur, while all racial slurs are bad, no other racial slur can come close to the, the word nigger. And um, the second reason is because, um, well, white, this is just the white people, why do you want to use the N-word? I mean, knowing the history and the, the con conflict that's coming behind it, I don't, I don't understand why you use, want to use the N-word anyway, but that's just my two cents. And even some white people on this matter, which I think is kind of ridiculous, are even arguing reverse racism. The fact that I can't use the N-word is racist. The fact is, that's also racist. And that's also a, um, a tarnishment, and that's also blocking my First Amendment right freedom of speech. Now, I'm all for freedom of speech, but you want the ability, and you want the freedom to, to, to tear down another race, and the word that's been used for so long to, to degrade and to demean another race? Why would you want that freedom? Why would you want it, the freedom to do that? And this is supposed to be a world where, where I'm supposed to be unified. And uh, even though I mentioned this in my video of a shame of your own race about why white people say that um, black why why is um why is Latino pride okay why is black pride okay why is people, when people when Asians have pride in themselves is okay but when white people shout white pride that's racist I don't think it's racist like I said I'm happy that you have pride in your own race and your own culture but it's only racist when you think of yourself as better than me just because you're another color that I am I'm not gonna think I'm better than you because I'm black just like you shouldn't think. You're better than me because you're white or e any other race for that matter. And I've even had some black people tell me, you know, even listen to a few videos on here that, um, well, the N-word, well, you're an individual and you're a smart person. But why do you let the N-word hold so much power on you? The N-word only affects you if you let it. And I agree. That's, kind of, that's true to some kind of extent. But um, what, what, what the point I'm trying to make across this, people, is that my definition of a nigger is... All the all the um the negative stereotypes and everything negative that's in your race. Hell, there's white niggers, there's Asian niggers, there's Hispanic niggers. I mean, I'm I'm this isn't just towards black people. I'm, this isn't discriminatory. I'm calling out all races on this. Every single race has a nigger. Every race has um. I mean, cause like if if like they like if they see a white person being race like if if, if a normal white person they're they're seeing a they're seeing racism towards a black person. It makes them ashamed. I mean, they're ashamed that they're still white on they're still white on black racism because then they hope that they don't think that other races are racist towards them. Like, oh my God, I hope that those black people over there don't think that I'm racist too. And the same thing with black people. If I see a black man get arrested in in, in front of a crowd of white people, I look away and I'm like, oh my God, I hope they don't think that I act all coonish and stuff. And you know, I don't I don't really mean coonish to um, offend black people. I mean coonish is just just any anybody acting ignorant in general. And I still won't understand the whole it's not fair thing. It's not fair that I get to use the N-word and you can't. But, you know, it's, it's also not fair that you judge an entire race off of one person's ignorance. Like, if you, if you, if you see a black person fight, if you see a couple of black people fighting or a whole black people brawl or riot, and you think that all black people get together and act like animals, it's not true. You can't fault an entire race off of one person's ignorance. And some people even think that... Um, that, that the N word should be thrown out of the out of the water altogether. It should be thrown out of the window altogether. And uh, that that idea is kind of 
moved, it kind of really won't work. And I even had some people, white people that I talked to that say, well, if uh, N-word, if, um, you know, black people use the N-word a lot less, maybe white, white people wouldn't use it at all. But uh, I, I think it's a problem because seeing as how um, that word has been around since before you were born, it's going to be here after you die and the grandchildren die. So that's kind of a, um, a mood idea. That idea kind of won't work. But I'm still going to hold on the idea that racism will probably be over within like the next five to six hundred years. At least I hope it will be. But um, anyway, guys, you tell me what you think about the whole, what, what do you stand on it once and for all about the use of the N-word? And do you think that sh um, a whole race will be judged off of one person's ignorance? But um, that's all. I had to get I had to I just had to get that off my chest, you know. Thank y'all for listening. See y'all next time. Peace.